Yeah, yeah. What else? Help me out. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they answer all these wicked, all these wicked abominable things, man. They have sold themselves for naught, but they shall be redeemed without money. That's a lot of our people that also sell out too and go within the industry world and end up having to be a homosexual or anything and do wickedly in order to be accepted in society. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a scripture that actually gives the tenet that says, why trimmest thy way without love to be, I mean, to seek love. Why trimmest thy way to, to seek love, man? You should not, you should not stoop low to be accepted in this society and you put here to serve captivity. You shouldn't want to be prosperous in this society, man. Get that for me, y'all. This is Jeremiah 17, verse four. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou hast no, not, knowest not. Huh. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right. We have discontinued from our heritage, man. A lot of our people think that they are uh, so-called Christians, so-called Islamists, uh, Muslims. They, 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 they enter every pagan religion under the sun except for their own nationality of the scriptures, man. The so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Indians are the true so-called Jews or Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. Um, that's right. Get, you got something? Oh, yeah. All right, Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Huh. Bring hither and slay them before me, all that do wickedly, that choose not to get right. I just read in 2 Chronicles 15 and 13 that whosoever will not seek the Lord should be put to death, whether man, woman, child, you know, anybody that choose not to seek the Lord. I don't get put to death. Um, get me, please, 2 Edris chapter 6, verse, verse 9. Oh, I got uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. We'll put, Go ahead, get the link up with that. All right, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. Right. And they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right, so first Psalm. Um, all right, first the electors are going to be sealed, like through the, uh, through the prophets. All right, and then after the elect are sealed, then the two-thirds are going to be judged. That's right. That's the only reason we out here. That's the only reason we come out here every week in, week in, week in and week out. Because we we, we fishing for the elect. That's what we waiting for. That's what's taking so long. Because mm -hmm. it's still some elect that still, they still sleep. Exactly. And that's what we fishing for. Exactly. They got to be woken up. And how are we, how is they going to be woken up? It's by blowing the trumpet. By doing that, give me Ezekiel 33 and 1. Right now, give me that. What's coming to Babylon. So these people this know. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, verse 22. You said? Yeah, 22. And suddenly shall the sowing places appear unsowing. That's right. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, man. These places are running out of food. Not only is it GMO, but they're going to stop giving y'all that GMO shit, man. They gonna, these shelves is going to clear off. Y'all ain't going to be able to get money unless you got the chip. Like, people, y'all really need to know the signs of the time that y'all living in and the fact that this place is going to be destroyed, especially if you take that chip. And now, it's not only the RFID chip now, because overseas they got the NFC chip, which is the near-field communication, which is also in all technology that's known to man that got, like, Bluetooth and shit. That's how you can communicate near-field. I mean, it's in the wordplay. But also the RFID chip, the radio frequency identification chip, which is the small incision taken in either the hand or the forehead or any part of the body, really, because you got assholes that like to be technical and say oh it ain't in the fort it ain't in the right hand so it don't matter some but, old foot and shit. yeah they, they 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 say some old other shit but regardless yeah, of which if you take that chip you're gonna get put to death because you you put your trust in society and not yeah. in the most high yeah. um keep going on that right quick keep that on hold please. Okay. and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear they shall be suddenly afraid now right now we out here blowing the trumpet man we warning our people of the signs of the times that's coming that's at hand Week in and week out, we out here doing this, and people despise or scoff the word and keep going as if they not marking themselves. Mm. But it's cool because their time is coming. And when they going to seek us, our tongue shall cleave to the roof of our mouth if they find us. Not only that, but it's, they going to have a hard time finding us. Lord will we be the elect, man. Keep going on that, right. please. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Right. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Right. 
they gonna are, they said friends mm -hmm. shall fight against friends. People that you call your own kinfolk are gonna be fighting each other over the smallest shit. That's right. Food, yeah, come. tissue, water, fire, trying to stay warm. Regardless of whatever it may be, whatever the substance that you're trying to seek, y'all gonna be fighting each other over uh, in them days, man. They gonna be fighting. Each other, the bitches gonna be fighting each other who gonna eat who baby first. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's gonna get that bad to where they gonna start cannibalism is gonna be back on the rise, bro. Yeah, I heard it's a slide when I was watching Elder Tahara last night talk about that. He was like, cannibalism is back, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Yeah. There's a side note, man. You go ahead. Um, um, I'm gonna get back into that topic in a minute, but drop that right quick. Let me get that right quick. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman. That's right. Keep going. If, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Now, that's what we out here doing. We seeing the sword coming. The Lord bless us with, um, I believe it's Amos 9 and 7, but I might not be right. Let me know. Um, the one I'm looking for. He allow us to see the signs of the time that's coming and to be able to warn our people. Now, is that not love, man? To see something coming and tell your brother or, or sister to uh, take heed to what's coming? You know, like, that's like somebody in the world about to break into somebody's house. You see them in the midst of, uh, like, walking in their yard and shit, and you call them, let them know. Like, something like that. But I mean, this on a large head sky because you could ultimately get put to death over this truth, man. Yeah, good. This is this is above us. And not only that, we're seeking out our own salvation. So not only are we trying to save ourselves, but we're trying to save the next man. Those who have ears to hear. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Verse 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. That's right. If he if he if we out here teaching and y'all choose not to hearken to this truth, then you shall be taken in your own iniquity, man. I mean, that's that's just righteous judgment. You 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 heard the law and you kept going. You heard the law and you kept uh, scoffing. You know, you're going off. you going out. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. Uh -huh. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. That's right, he that taketh warning. Now, what's taking warning? Um, running, man. I believe that's Habakkuk 2. Uh, not you. Uh, can you give me Habakkuk 2 and start at 2, bro? Kyle. Stop right there. I'm going uh, to get back in there, right? Sir. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Uh, Kyle, hey, let's go. I'm pretty good. Habakkuk 2. Shalom, man. Shalom, man. You good, bro. You good. Take your time. Man, we people need to know, man. That's what we out here doing. We blowing this trumpet, bro. We giving our people warning. Like, they don't know what's going on overseas. They feel as if because it's going on overseas, it don't matter. That ain't hit home. Mm -hmm. They're like, man, that's them. They don't got shit to do with me until they hit home. And then one of their loved ones get took up by martial law and shit. That's when they going to care. Oh, shit, shit real. Wow. Yeah, shit real. Yeah, some nigga shit real. Right? Yeah. Oh, man, they in the field. God yeah, damn, yeah. man. Like, man, we need more guns. They putting their trust in oppression, man. Yeah, come. Keep, keep, get that for me, y'all. This is Habakkuk 2 verse uh, 1, right? Yeah. Two, oh, two and two. Two, 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 two. Habakkuk two and two. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon our tables that he may run that readeth it. That's right. He may run that readeth it. And that's what we out here doing. He, he, this is the Lord's vision, but he put it plain upon tables that for he that run may readeth it. And then it just said in Ezekiel, can you bring that last verse that you just read back? You're going to keep going on that too, huh? Ezekiel 33 and 5. Mm -hmm. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. That's right. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. He that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. He that run and seek the scriptures, the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, shall deliver his soul if it be the Lord's will. Keep going on that Habakkuk. Ha Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak. That's right. And not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's right, because many people fall out of this truth being impatient, man. 
not having patience for the Lord, man. Patience is the virtue of the Lord, and that's something you got to do in order to endure this truth. Now, it's a pain, but it's something we got to do. And if you want to be seek, if it be the Lord's will and you want to be honored in the kingdom, man, and not be the uh, the least of the kingdom, man, you're going you're gonna to have patience. You're going to endure this truth, and you're going to deal with it. Take it like a man and roll with the punches that come with it, bro. Um, that's right. I believe that's it in Habakkuk. Jump back to that. It's only like a verse or two left, I believe, on that. Or Ezekiel 33 and 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. The blood will he require at the watchman's hand because we we know and then tell. Like in the scriptures it says, no man light up a candle and put it under a bushel or under a bed. You set it out on, on like a um slacky, I'm paraphrasing, but you set it on like a nice dinner on the table that he that walk into the room may see, to see the light. And that's what we out here doing, we the light that the Lord set up for this city and this city only. And ain't nobody gonna be saved unless they under the right doctrine that's a great millstone, man. Um finish that up. I believe there's one more left on there. Verse seven. Alright, verse seven. So thou, O son of man. I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of, at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. That's right. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. All right, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you wash your hands of the next man's blood by going out here and teaching this man the truth. And whether he hearken or not, you got the blood off your hands because you got you told him the light. Like you put forth your hand, and he probably just gave you the cold shoulder or shrugged it away. But I mean, you delivered your soul if it be the Lord's will that you be the elect. Uh, is it more, I believe? Jump down to 17. Hold on, hold on. You can drop that. Slot yet. Oh, okay. Um, get, get what you got. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes, aka Sirach, chapter 2, verse uh, thir 13. Woe unto him that is. No. Okay, woe, he is 14. Woe unto, woe unto you that have lost patience. And, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Right. Um. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his words, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that, they that love him will keep his ways, man. Those, um, those that love him will keep his ways, man. And that's real love. He said love is the following of the law, man. Following the, the, script, following the commandment that's given in the law, man. Not eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Not committing adultery. Um, not, uh, yeah, seven and, um, Start to give me 41. 41 right quick. And then you about to jump to what you got. But um, man, our people, man, they into all kinds of wickedness. Get that out. All right, second Ezra 7 and 41. Even so now, seeing corruption is grown up and wickedness increase, and the righteous have, have prayed for the ungodly. Sock you. All right, even so now, seeing corruption is grown up and wickedness is increased, and the righteous have prayed for the un, for the ungodly, wherefore shall it not be, be so now also? That's right. He answered me and said, This present life is is not the end, where much glory doth abide. Right. Therefore have they prepared for the weak. Mm-hmm. That he said, uh, bring that, that one back. He said, he answered, the end is not the end. It's like it. This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, where Mike Lord do it about everybody seeking a prosperous lifestyle, man. Where yeah, so we get all Micah two and ten. Yeah, yeah kind. Um, man, y'all, 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 y'all got y'all interest in the wrong things, man. It's, it's a little bit more on that. Verse forty-three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. That's right. The day of doom shall be the end of this time, and that's when everybody gonna be out here stuck talking about some. What shall we do? What are we gonna do? 
Man, I pray for the death and destruction of Babylon, bro. That's right. right. To the right. best of my ability, each and every day. I pray that this place to fucking fall. <laughs> Keep going. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Right. And the beginning of the immortality for to come. Right. Immortality for those who actually sought the Lord to do the will of the Lord. Go ahead. Wherein corruption hold on, hold on, is past. Hold on, hold on. Yeah,